man, you go crazy. Man, you got some bangers shit. too, bro. How did tell me how did you was how how did you manage to get a song uh, with Gucci Mane? Uh, that that shit came apart with um, basically shout out to um Sean Payne. That was his, that was his engineer back like when Sosa did um back not back from the dead uh big Gucci Sosa mixtape with with Gucci. Right. It was around that time. So bro did like a whole tape with WAP. Uh, his engineer was coming out to L.A. type shit. You know, from Atlanta. This is running everything for Gucci when Gucci was locked up type shit. So it was like basically they was trying to basically uh, finish finish the songs for Gucci. Like Gucci had a whole bunch of unfinished, you know, songs and he in jail and he had to drop music type shit. So okay. his manager was basically, you know, helping bro f fill the songs up. Right. I ended up doing, I ended up going to Atlanta. Me and Duop went to Atlanta. We ended up going out there. I ended up getting up with Champagne. We went to like Zone 3 or some shit. I'm in like some trap house in Zone 3. He pull up a little mic, a little home studio, and we uh, he pull up all these little records, and I just did one. Then I ended up doing another one. He ended up putting me and Ice Wear Vezo on one song. It's called Brick Phone. Then we did another one, uh, that Perry one. Then the I Hate Hoes. Then it was like, bro was just tossing me on shit, you know? But this is like, I feel like it was just off the strength of Sosa too, you know? Yeah. And it was I was making noise too, like on my own shit, but it was like, I had made a relationship with Sean on some engineering shit, so it was shit like that. Yeah. Oh, um, bro. Man, you've been in this shit for a while. You you damn near a veteran in this shit. Can you tell us what's most what's one of the most valuable lessons you've learned throughout the years? Uh, shit. Just keep chasing this shit for real. Don't don't slow down. I'll say that. Just keep dropping shit. Keep putting shit in their face. If you want to do this shit, just you gotta just keep putting that shit in their face. That's the one thing I'll say. And just keep working. You can't want, you don't, you don't got to want nothing out of this shit. You got to really love this shit, you know? I'll say it like that. Like you can't just go to the studio every once in a while and think it's that or this or that. When you go, go every, go every day. Try and go to the studio. Stay in the studio. Sleep in the studio. You know? I used to sleep in the studios. I used to be in the studio all the time. Me and DJ Ken used to be in the studio all day, every day. Like, motherfuckers used to live in the studio type shit, like. You got to almost have that mindset, like, this is all I'm going to do. And you can't let nothing else veer you off. I'll say that because I let shit veer me off, you know. I let, I used to live in Cali, all type of shit. I came back to the rack. Now I catch, catch a case. Now I'm stuck. Now, now I'm on the band. Now I'm, you know, now I'm in jail. Now I got to bond out again. Now I got to do this. Now I can't rap. Now I'm rapping through the phone, all type of goofy shit. Should have just slowed you down. You just got to keep rapping, keep all that other shit. You can't be, you could be one foot one in, but it, it don't really work, you know? It's like only some do it. But really, it'll fuck you up because them people watching you, you know? Especially when you rapping. So you try to do some street shit, you know? And you and you the face and you rapping and you got a name. It'll bite you in the ass. Yeah, for sure that. Um, you seem like you got a good head on your shoulders, and, and I can tell you done been through some shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you've learned from your mistakes, you feel me? I can tell from your laid-back demeanor, you know? Hell uh, yeah. So what's, what's, what's like, you know, a five-year plan for Love Flash? Like, where do you see yourself five years from now? Uh, top of the world, man. Turn, overturn, colossal. Colossal living somewhere out the rack. Back and forth though, like I'll be doing it, but out the way, all the way out the way. Everyone I know out the way type shit. That's how I see it, like five years, for sure five years, you know, but not even that, but I see everybody out this bitch, you know. I don't see no need for my even really. I mean, and I see us coming back here, you know, and doing shit. Doing a lot of shit like basketball games and events and, you know, and all type of youth centers and therapy shit, all type of shit. I want to do a lot of shit where I give this shit, you know, where I give it back to them. For real, for real. Back to the kids. Hell yeah, I want to give back to the kids, I wanna, and I want to give back to the that's locked up too, though, you know. Right. I want to show, I want to, I want to show them like that ain't the way, because my life was on a standstill for real, you know. Mm -hmm. I did twenty something months on house arrest. That shit. That shit threw me off, you know? It ain't throw me off to that point, but it threw me off to it's like everything else moving and I'm stuck in here. And I'm watching everything else go by. 
now I'm, you know, I'm 20 some years, and now I'm this, now I'm 20 this, you know, now I'm 24, now I'm 26, type shit like that. I'm looking at it like, what the f***, a little bit. Because your shit will go on pause, and you'll be sitting there like, why the f***, I just get in the car with a dude, you know? All it took was you to not get in that car with a motherfucker, you know? Or you went around this people, this people. You got to have good judgment out here. That's the one thing, you know? You got to just learn how to have good judgment, not chase the wrong shit. That's what I, I end up chasing the wrong shit. Got stuck out here, you know? If it wasn't for that, I'd probably be in LA, you know? Right now. I'm just getting off parole, all type of shit. I'm just being able to, like, fly my, you know, spread my wings how I want to spread them and really move how I want to move. Before I got to call every week, I got to check in. I can't go out of state, you know? I can't do this. Or it's an ankle monitor on my leg. I got to go to the store and run back in before they call me through my leg and do all this goofy, all type of extra shit. A lot of shit going, a lot of shit come with that shit. That's why it's like, it don't be worth it. Don't be worth it. None of this shit be worth it. At the end of the day, when you in that bitch by yourself, or you in that bitch chained the fuck up, chained to the phone or something, chained to a table and in the hall or some shit, and you, you got 15 minutes a week to talk to your peoples a week, you don't get, like you, you can't even, you try to stretch 15 minutes out for seven days, you're going to be like, what the fuck, like, you gonna be on the phone five minutes. I love you. Ooh, do do this, do this, do this for me, and that's it. You ain't even gonna know what's going on. You are gonna be in there like hell no. Nah. Ain't nobody gonna be looking for you. All type of shit. You gonna lose your bitch in there. All type of shit. You are gonna lose everything. So it's like you gotta really realize like it ain't worth none of this shit. None of this shit out here be worth going in there and you know losing your losing yourself. Because you really do lose yourself. As much as motherfuckers say, like, oh, I'm, I'm decent when I go to jail. You know, ooh, I'm holding my head. I'm decent. Ah, ah, ah. Big burritos, all type of shit. We got big boys and we got pizza and all this other shit. And they try to make it sound sweet. But no matter who it is, they know, like, that shit wicked. Especially the Cook County shit. That shit wicked. Especially Division 9. You know? That's why motherfuckers be like, it came to you. When you go to 11 or something, you go to the White House. You, they know, like, oh, it came to you, like, that's a blessing right there. You finna go over there to the White House on 31st right there. And it's a whole nother world. And Max right there and nine is over busting. Bro, right. That's just gonna show you who is who, and you know? Yeah. Who is savage for real, who ain't, who. I'm glad you broke it down like that because we do talk to a lot of guys that, you know, did some time in Cook County. Um, some make it sound like it's fun, you know what I'm saying? Some make it sound like it's a vacation. But in reality, that's like hell on earth. Yeah. And if you write in your mind, that ain't no place you want to spend some time. You don't want to be right there. My pissing right there. You you know. You on the bed or something. You gotta pee. Now that you hearing them piss and shit, you gotta hear them shit. You gotta drop, flush the toilet every time you drop and shit. All type of extra weird shit. A lot of weird shit come with jail. Mm -hmm. Fighting and people mad about nothing. Shit like that. It don't even be a lot of shit. Like, it don't even be fighting with your ops all the time. It be fights with just random motherfuckers, you know? Over the phone or over this or chasing it or saying goofy shit. Shit like that. Shit just irritate you in there. Yeah. You would hear about some shit in the world and then want to take off on a motherfucker and that. It ain't did nothing to you. Mm -hmm. Just off of what's going on out here and you can't. You really have a part of it. Or be a part of it. Or say something happened to your peoples out here. You get that call. Now you... You ready to do whatever, right. shit like that. Right. I used to catch staff assaults, all type of shit. I'm real great. I caught a staff assault like my first month in jail. I got an orange ID, all type of shit. I ended up going to the hole for 35 days, blue box, all type of shit. I was in the hole one time for like 60 days. That's how I know, like, I done been all through nine, all through six, all through 11. I've been through all divisions. And I didn't see how the shit, how how it break down. And I ain't the only thing I ain't did was the dorm shit, where everybody out they sell at once. But I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna, oh, I'll never do that shit. Oh, bro. That's what's up, love flash. Uh, so in closing, is there a message you can leave for the youth? I mean, you definitely just left a, left a great one, but you know, it's some reform. Stay out the f away, man, and stop chasing that shit. <laughs> Just be you, you know, that's all I say to the youth, be yourself and 
Don't let nobody steer you off, you know? Follow your intuition. You know what's wrong, you know what's right. That's all, that's all I can say. You know what to do, where not to do, what to do, where to, you know? Shit like that. And don't let these cameras shit fool you either. Like, there's a lot of cameras out here, all type of shit. Like, people think they gonna, there's GTA out here too, but just remember, there's a lot of birds in the sky too, so. Make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing shit. Be smart. Think about that shit. Just think. That's hard. Any shout outs to close remarks? Uh, shout out to GlowGameWorldwide.com. Oh, bro. Uh, I'm trying to think. New mixtape on the way. Uh, Did You Miss Me or You Ain't Care? And uh, No Auto Flash coming soon, mixtape. Whole game dropping soon. Sosa dropping. Almighty So Too coming soon. Tato dropping. No guts, no glory. Last of a dying breed. All type of shit coming soon. Go. That's what's <laughs> up, man. Shout out to Royalty Productions. Lil Flash, DJ UTV. I think we just made us a classic, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I don't follow them, though. Gang. DJ, you go crazy.